Dental pain can be felt under perfectly normal conditions. For example, when eating ice cream, the cold stimulus may activate sensory nerve endings called nociceptors, which lie embedded within the tooth pulp. These nociceptors generate action potentials which are orthodromically conducted along their associated nerve fibers into the brain, where they pass through the brain stem to various parts of the thalamus and cerebral cortex. There, this sensory information may be processed as pain. Under pathological conditions caused, for example, by dental caries, nociceptors in the tooth become sensitized when tooth pulp becomes inflamed. In this state, called peripheral or nociceptor sensitization, nociceptors exhibit increased excitability and decreased activation thresholds to thermal, chemical, or mechanical stimuli as seen in this patient. How does the sensitivity occur? Damage caused to the tooth by dental caries is associated with inflammatory changes in the pulp. Inflammation involves the release of chemical mediators from blood vessels, as well as from cells, such as immune cells. These chemical mediators can sensitize nearby nociceptors, rendering them more excitable and likely to fire when stimulated. As a result, stimuli to the tooth may generate more action potentials than normal, which are subsequently conducted orthodromically along associated nerve fibers into the brain. These action potentials may also be conducted antidromically along collateral branches of the fibers, back towards the nerve endings causing the release of neurochemicals. These neurochemicals, such as substance P, are synthesized in the cell bodies of the sensory nerve fibers themselves, and travel towards the tooth to accumulate in the sensory nerve endings in the pulp. Once released, these neurochemicals in turn themselves cause the release of inflammatory mediators by stimulating cells of the immune system as well as other types of cells in the tissues. Inflammatory mediators act on receptors and ion channels on nociceptor membranes, increasing their excitability. Furthermore, some of these neurochemicals act as vasodilators, increasing plasma extravasation of immune cells and chemical mediators from blood vessels, which can also influence the excitability of nociceptors. Apart from these peripherally occurring processes, events within the central nervous system are also thought to contribute to peripheral sensitization. The conduction of orthodromic action potentials into the central nervous system may excite inhibitory interneurons which form axo-axonic synapses with the central endings of neighboring sensory nerve fibers. These interneurons release neurochemicals such as GABA which may depolarize neighboring sensory nerve fibers to such an extent that action potentials are fired antidromically back out of the central nervous system to the peripheral endings. Neurochemicals such as substance P are then released from the activated fiber endings into the pulp where they further the release of the chemical mediators mentioned earlier, thus augmenting peripheral sensitization. This process of peripheral sensitization explains why sensitized nociceptors may become so sensitive that they can be activated by, for example, adjacent pulsing blood vessels, or mechanical, thermal, or chemical stimuli, accounting for the dull throbbing pain often experienced during certain types of toothache, or why a cold stimulus such as ice cream may produce exaggerated pain in an inflamed tooth.